You are constructing an open top box for your cat to sleep in. Cute. The plush material for the square bottom of the box costs $7 per square foot, and the material for the sides costs $2 per square foot. You need a box with volume 8 feet square. Find the dimensions of the box that will minimize your cost. So it says the bottom of your box is square. So we'll call this side X, and that would make that side X as well. And the plush material here is a little bit more expensive than the material that makes up the sides of the box. We can call the last dimension of our box, say, Y. We know that the volume of our box needs to be 8 feet. That would be cubed. So we can set up the formula that our volume, which is X times X times Y, or X squared Y, needs to equal 8. Okay, good start. We need to find the dimensions of the box that will minimize our cost. So we need to come up with a function for our cost. I'll call it C. Let's start with the cost of the bottom of the box. The area of the bottom of the box is just x times x, or x squared, and the cost per area is $7 per square foot. So the cost of the bottom of our box is just going to be 7x squared. Now as for the sides, each side of this box has, say, a width of x and a height of y. So the area of each side is going to be x times y. We're going to multiply that area times the cost per area, which is 2. But then we also have 4 sides, so we're going to multiply that whole thing by 4. This gives us a cost formula of 7x squared plus 8xy. Now it's happened again. We came up with a formula that we want to maximize or, in this case, minimize but it has two variables in it, and we can't deal with that. Not in Calc 1. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this first equation that we came up with. We're gonna solve it for y, and we're gonna plug that y right into our formula for our cost. And we get this right here. This is now a function of only x, whereas before we had a function of x and y. And we can simplify. We might simplify one more step to rewrite this x in the denominator as an x to the negative first power. And now if we want to minimize this cost, we need to find critical points. That means take a first derivative. Note that our first derivative is undefined when x equals 0, so we'll have to look at that as a critical point. As far as our other critical points are concerned, we can set that first derivative equal to 0, and we can solve for x. I'm going to multiply both sides by x squared. I'm going to divide both sides by 14. And I'm going to take the cube root of both sides. And I'm getting that our x is the cube root of 32 over 7. In case you're wondering what that value is, it's about 1.6. Six feet. So the x value in this original drawing up here that's going to minimize the cost of our box is about 1.66 feet. We need to find the dimensions here, so we need to find our y value as well. And we're going to find our y value just by plugging our x that we got into this formula. And I'm getting that this is approximately 2.90 feet. So we can summarize what we found. The dimensions of the box that are going to minimize our cost are 1.66 feet by 1.66 feet by 2.90 feet. That is the x dimension by the other x dimension by the y dimension. Now, I may have slacked a little bit on this problem. You'll notice that I didn't go back and check the other critical point, x equals 0. However, if you look at the critical point, x equals 0, it doesn't quite make sense because um, that would give us a dimension of 0 for our box, and that's not going to work out. The other thing I haven't really been doing in these problems very much is actually verifying that the value that we get is, say, a maximum or a minimum. Uh, there are a couple different ways to do this. One would be a first derivative test. To show that this is a minimum, we would show that the first derivative of our function is negative to the left of this x value, meaning the function is decreasing, and positive to the right of this x value, meaning that the function is then increasing. There's also a second derivative test that you can use to show that this is a minimum, um, but I'll leave that all up to you, and I will just call this thing good.